Well, good morning and welcome back, everyone. I'm out here at COSI and joined with a couple of friends. I'm out here with Lori and we've got two reptile friends out here with us too. We sure do. So we've got Doc McStuffins, the exhibit with us. And as a part of the exhibit, we are featuring live animals from noon to one every day. And these are a couple of the animals that you might be able to see when you're there. So you're holding Lucy, and Lucy is a ball python. So that's how she gets her name, um, Lucille Ball. Um, and what's really neat about her is that she's a little bit different than our boa constrictor. So even though they Aww. look similar, other than their size, there's lots of differences between the two of them. So Lucy here has these holes on the front of her face that are actually pits. Um, so she can sense uh, heat with those, um, just like a pit viper would. Now Montoya, on the other hand, on the front of his face, he doesn't have those <laughs> holes, but he has a mustache, which doesn't do anything except make him look cute. <laughs> that does look pretty cool, I gotta admit. So a part of Doc McStuffins is talking about how she cares for animals. And so I like to talk about how we care for our animals here at COSI as well. Um, and the animals can't tell us directly what's wrong if there's anything wrong with them. So we have to learn how to communicate with them. Um, and we can do that through their behaviors. So it's a little bit more subtle with snakes. So think about mm -hmm. your cat and your dog if you can tell if they're not feeling well. Um, so we monitor their, be their behaviors, uh, but snakes also shed their skin. So we look for that shed should be nice and complete. Um, and if it's coming off in pieces, it might mean they need to change in the humidity in their enclosure, um, or we might need to change something in their diet. Um, and in addition, um, we feed them and then it has to come out. So we <laughs> want to make sure we're looking at the end piece to make sure that everything looks okay and is functioning normally. And I kind of like that with the Doc McStuffins and anything veterinary, it kind of lets you know that things may not be gross, they're just natural. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, vets are always interested in the poop side. <laughs> um, and you can learn a lot about an animal from their poop. <laughs> and I like, too, that you guys have opportunities not only to meet some of the animals, like the snakes over here, but you feature a lot of the vets that are even here locally in the community. Yes, it's so exciting to be able to feature them. Um, and next weekend, we're actually going to have vets from OSU's uh, veterinary clinic um, come, and you can meet them, and they'll do a, a bandage workshop. So they'll show you how to bandage um, teddy bears. Um, so come and meet them, um, say hi, and learn about the veterinary field. That's so cool. And what other animals will people have a chance to encounter? I know people have some mixed feelings about snakes. <laughs> it's true. Um, we do have a variety of birds, um, amphibians, mammals. Um, it really just depends on the animal team person that's here that day and who they want to bring out. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. And again, what's kind of the time frame that people would be able to get that animal interaction or meet a veterinarian? Oh, yeah. If you come at noon, um, we will be there all that whole hour. Excellent. And I love to, this is included in general admission, right? Is there any sort of extra ticket to come out and nope, see Dr. Nope, it is Stephens? included with your admission. So come on out and meet some of our friends. Oh, perfect. Well, thank you so much for bringing along some friends with you, too. I know that those interactions have to be so much fun. I know I'm having a blast with it. <laughs> and again, if you're interested in getting more information about what's going on with COSI or more information on that Doc McStuffins exhibit, you can head over to COSI.org or to take a look at this interview again or some of the other fun experiments we've done, you can head over to our website, NBC4i.com. So thanks so much, Lori. You're welcome. <laughs> Yay!